Hello from the Florida Department of Environmental Protection Submerged Lands and Environmental Resources Program. This video will help you answer one of the most common questions we get about wetlands. How can I tell if there are wetlands on my property? Wetlands and surface waters are protected in the U.S. under the Clean Water Act. Impacts to wetlands and other surface waters, such as dredging, filling, or building structures over them, require a permit from both the state through FDEP or the Water Management District, and the federal government through the U.S. Army Corps of Engineers. So, knowing about wetlands on your property is important. This video will show you how to find out if you have them. How do I know, and what do I do if I have wetlands on my property in Florida? This video guide is meant for current and prospective property owners who want to build in Florida. This video provides basic information and a tutorial. First, I will show you how to use our mapping tools to find out if you might have wetlands and to find out if the property was permitted in the past. Then, I will talk to you about how to get a wetland delineation, how to figure out if you need a permit to build in wetlands, and how to get information to apply for permits if you need them. In a minute, I will show you how to use FDEP's publicly accessible GIS tool, MapDirect. MapDirect contains aerial photographs, national wetlands inventory maps, historical and current permit information, plus lots of other environmental information if you want to explore MapDirect more later. Your property might have wetlands if it is close to or within the national wetlands inventory layer, or if some of the neighbors have permits. Also, if your specific property was permitted in the past, then there might already be a record showing where the wetlands are on the site. A quick word of caution. Please be aware that when you use the National Wetlands Inventory Layer for Florida, it's important to know the layer is only an estimate of wetland areas. The layer is created for the entire country using aerial interpretation and other remote sensing methods, not ground truthing. In Florida, the actual extent of wetlands is often larger than what is shown on the National Wetlands Inventory layer, and sometimes smaller. The only way to determine exactly where wetlands are on a site is to get a wetland delineation. I'll talk about that later. Here are the links to the tools and websites I'm going to use for the demonstration. Please refer back to them as needed. I recommend using this video and pausing at each step the first time you use the tools so you can follow along at your own pace. This is the FDEP homepage. You can get here using the first link in the previous slide. I'm going to show you how to get to MapDirect from the homepage. If you want, you can go directly to MapDirect using the second link on the previous slide. Follow the red arrows as you go. First, click Programs in the tabs at the top right corner. That brought you to a list of FDEP program areas. You want to use Maps, so click on Geographic Information Systems. There are some options in a list on the right side of the page. MapDirect is the name of our publicly accessible mapping program. Click on the MapDirect link under the Quick Links on the right-hand side of the page. Welcome to MapDirect! On the left side of the page, there are icons to go to automatically populated maps for different FDEP program areas. The different maps are fun to explore if you want to later. If you need extra help after this presentation, or just want more information about using MapDirect, there is a quick start, user guide, and a tutorial available in the top right corner. Right now, I want to take you to a blank map and show you how to get directly to the information you need to help find out if your property has wetlands. On the top right, under the user guides, click Open the Map, No Focus. Hello Florida! 
To zoom into your property, you can click on the binoculars near the top left of the page. You can also use the zoom tools that look like magnifying glasses with plus and minus near the top right if you want. I'll show you how to use the binoculars. Click on the binocular icon on the left side of the screen. If you know the address, you can enter it in the address box. I'm going to pretend I'm looking into buying a lot on Freedom Court in Navarre. You can also search using latitude and longitude coordinates, if you have them, by using the options in the center left side of the screen under Choose a Different Find tool. The map zoomed in to Freedom Court. Now I'm going to add the data layers I need by clicking the yellow Data Layers folder on the left side of the page. The data layer list is now shown on the left. You can explore the categories in the list later if you want, but I'm going to show you how to search for specific layers without sorting through the lists. Click Add Data Layer at the bottom of the list. The Add Data Layer box pops up. I want to see the individual property boundaries, which are on the property appraiser layer, also called cadastral. So I'm going to enter property in the search box and click search. Choices pop up. The most recent property appraiser layer is the most accurate, so I will check cadastral 2012 and then click add to map. A box pops up to confirm that the new layer was added. Click OK. Now I want to add the National Wetlands Inventory Map. That's a lot to remember, so I will just type wetlands in the search box and click search. Clicking search brings up two choices with wetlands in the title. I'll check the box next to National Wetlands Inventory and then click Add to Map. The same notification box will pop up to confirm the new layer. Click OK. Now I'll show you how to find out if there are any existing permits for the properties in the area. Existing permits can tell me two things. One, if there are wetlands in the neighborhood. And two, if the property I'm looking at was permitted for wetlands or stormwater in the past. And if so, if the permit has expired. There is no easy search term for permits. We call the layer ERP-PA. It's an acronym for Environmental Resource Program Permitting Application, our permitting database. So I typed ERP-PA into the search box and clicked search. There is only one choice. Check the box next to ERP-PA and click Add to Map. The same notification box will pop up to confirm the new layer. Click OK. We are done adding layers, so click Close. Here's the map. The yellow lot lines are the property appraiser or cadastral layer. The blue dots indicate existing permits in the area. The hard to see black lines are the National Wetlands Inventory layer. It would be much more helpful if the estimated wetland areas were highlighted. You can turn on the highlight by clicking the little diamond shape next to the layer name. That's better. Well, you can see that the green highlighted estimated wetlands include all of the properties on Freedom Court. That, and the fact that there are many existing permits in the neighborhood, tell me that the vacant properties in this area are probably wetlands, and I will probably need wetland permits to build there. So, the property I'm thinking about buying probably has wetlands. What should I do next? The first step after finding out that there might be wetlands on the property is to find out for sure, and to find out exactly where the wetlands are on the property. A wetland delineation can be done either by FDEP, the Water Management District, or by a private environmental consultant. 
The person who owns the property will have to request the delineation. To do a delineation, an environmental professional will go to the property and evaluate the plants and soils to figure out where the wetlands are. The definition of wetlands and instructions for how to delineate them are in Florida law. The environmental professional will usually flag the boundaries of the wetland and map the wetlands on the property for you. Okay, so imagine you have a wetland delineation. How do you know if you need a permit? If there are some uplands on the property, and if you can keep all of the project in the uplands, then you will not need wetland permits. If filling, dredging, or construction in wetlands cannot be avoided, then you will need wetland permits. If you need permits, then call FDEP or the Water Management District for a free pre-application meeting so we can help you apply for a permit. If you want, you can hire a private environmental consultant to handle the permitting process for you. If you choose to hire a consultant, we still recommend coming in for a pre-application meeting to help make the process easier and faster for you and your consultant. If you need a wetland permit, you will need one from the state through DEP or the Water Management District, one from the federal government through the U.S. Army Corps of Engineers, and you might need one from your county or city. When you apply to FDEP or the Water Management District, we forward the application to the Army Corps of Engineers so they can begin their review. One consolidated application for all three agencies means less work for you or your consultant, which saves time and money. Please see our other videos for more information on these permitting-related hot topics. When you apply for a wetland permit, you will need to know about our requirements for elimination and reduction of wetland impacts, and mitigation to make up for loss of wetland function due to dredging, filling, or other development in wetlands. Please call your local FDEP or Water Management District office if you have questions, or to schedule a free pre-application meeting to discuss your project. You can find the contact information at the links on this slide. Don't forget, Please view our other videos for more information about permitting hot topics. And thank you for watching.